Hi, uh, this video tutorial I will cover uh, HTTP session binding listener demo. Before you watch this video tutorial, please log into my channel and watch uh, HTTP session binding listener introduction video tutorial. Then come and watch this tutorial so that you will understand this tutorial very clearly. Okay. Uh, now I will uh, show you the code in Eclipse. Uh, to explain uh, HTTP session binding listener, I have created the project called uh, HTTP session binding listener demo. Uh, in this project in web.xml I have configured uh, one servlet class uh, servlet class name is HTTP session attribute uh, test servlet uh, the URL pattern for this uh, servlet class is uh, listener test okay and uh, I have uh, created one uh, user class which implements uh, HTTP session uh, binding listener okay so this user uh, class implements HTTP session binding listener. So we no need to configure in web.xml. Okay. And uh, this user class has uh, two attributes, name and age. And it has uh, one constructor. Uh, you have to pass name and age uh, to initialize this uh, user. Okay. And uh, getter and setter for uh, username and age. And uh, this class implements HTTP session binding listener. So uh, it provides implementation of uh, value bound and value unbound method. Okay, so whenever this uh, user object is uh, uh, bound to the session, uh, this value bound method will be called and it will receive a HTTP session binding event. So from that uh, event object, we can get the name and uh, value of the attribute uh, which has been uh, changed. Okay and uh, based on the object bound in the session if you want to perform some uh, additional operation that you can perform in this uh, method okay and whenever this user object is unbound from the session uh, this method will be called value unbound and it will receive a HTTP session binding event uh, from that uh, we can get the uh, attribute name and value which has been uh, removed from the session and based on the unbound if you want to perform some additional operation that you can perform in this value unbound method okay uh, next we will see what is there in http session attribute uh, test server dot java so the class uh, http session uh, attribute test server uh, extends uh, http server and it has uh, init method uh, this method will be called by the server container to initialize this uh, server and uh, it has a do get method uh, this method will be called by the server container to process the request uh, here uh, what i am doing is i am getting the http session from the request object by calling request dot get session method then uh, after a certain sleep time i am creating the user object and i am setting that user object to the session okay so this time user object is bound to the session so whenever a user object is bound to the session uh, the user object will be get notified by the container because the user uh, implements http session binding listener okay then after a certain time i am invalidating the session so this time uh, the user object is unbound from the session so the servlet container will uh, notify the user object okay it will call uh, value unbound method because user object uh, implements uh, HTTP session uh, binding listener okay and uh, it has sleep method here what we are doing is uh, uh, thread dot sleep uh, some uh, 10,000 seconds okay and it has a destroy method uh, this method will be called by the servlet container to remove the servlet from the service I will uh, deploy this web application in Tomcat uh, server and I will show you the output build project file export so our file and placing inside the tomcat web apps folder finish and starting the server server has been uh, started now i am going to access the web application using this uh, url i am clicking on enter and uh, it is displaying index.html content uh, index.html is nothing but a welcome page and it has only one link uh, that is called the listener test so when you click this link uh, the request goes to the server and the url pattern is listener test okay so the server uh, will forward the request to the server container server container will check uh, the url pattern uh, listener test in web.xml or not so it is there so it will initialize this uh, http session attribute test uh, class and uh, then it will call the 
do get method of uh, this HTTP session attribute tesserlet. Okay. So in do get method, what we are doing is we are creating the user object and uh, binding to the session. After a certain sleep time, we are invalidating that one. Okay. Uh, so whenever uh, user object is bound to the session. Uh, the user object uh, value bound method will be called and uh, whenever user object is unbound from the session uh, that time uh, user object uh, uh, value unbound method will be called okay i will click on this link and i will show you the output in console so the request goes to the server So here you can see value bound method has been called in user. Okay. And you can see value unbound method has been called in user. And uh, this is about uh, HTTP session binding listener demo. And thanks for watching. Bye.